Cyber Fright Fest is very overwhelming. Super exciting though. It's, it's sold out, which is really fantastic, and I'm really proud that Cult of Chucky was chosen to be the opening film. Nice. So, tell me a little bit about your character in this movie, and then a little bit about the history of your character. Okay, well, this is my fourth movie play, Tiffany. Um, uh, she's grown up a little bit in the other movies, you know, she was sort of a sloppy mess, you know, she's struggling with her addiction problems, and she's in a relationship, a codependent relationship with an asshole, and she's struggling to, like, get out of that relationship, and quit killing because she thinks it's bad, and, and she has an unwanted pregnancy, so she was sort of like teen mom, you know, but now she's sort of, she's grown up, she's been, she went into Jennifer Tilly's body, and the second movie I played myself, and Tiffany took over my body, so now she's living in Beverly Hills, she's kind of classy, and she's more like diabolical and manipulative, and she doesn't really, she's, she's okay with herself. She has kill acceptance. She doesn't really think it's bad to kill anymore. And she just sort of stirs, shows up to stir up some trouble. So she's more comfortable in herself. She is more comfortable than herself. And this is fantastic because this is the first movie where I've had scenes with Fiona, who starred in the last one. And I think that all the fans are going to go crazy when they see this film. There's a lot of characters from other movies. Don ties up a lot of loose ends with a lot of inside jokes. And it's also truly, truly horrifying. So do you, filming this particular one, is there anything that you found more difficult than filming the others? Um, not really. The only thing that was difficult, it was very, very cold in Toronto. No, Winnipeg. Very cold in Winnipeg when we were filming. It was like minus 40 degrees below when we were filming a very crucial scene. And it was basically like, well, if your noses haven't fallen off and the film hasn't frozen in the camera, let's just call it a take and move on. So I think that scene, the most important, the most difficult thing was trying not to have so much snow fly into your eyes. But aside from that, Tiffany is always so easy to find because she's just really fun and breezy and, you know, and I've been playing her for so long. It's like a piece of cake. Oh, that's awesome. So, here at Pride Press, are you hanging around to see anyone anyone else's movies? Um, no, I think we're sort of in and out. We're going to see, we're doing our movie, but my friend Barbara Crampton, that I've known for 30 years, is introducing the film, so it's really fun to see her. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, hopefully you'll get to hang around for a bit longer, but if not, it was really good to see you. Well, I would like to come to Fright Fest just as a guest, you know, not with the movie, so I can see some films and, you know, experience it, the whole thing. Well, we look forward to seeing you in the future, hopefully. Okay, thank you so much. Goodbye, Fright Fest. Hey, how are you? I'm uh, good, how are you? I'm really hot. Please, tell us a little bit about the movie without giving too much away, because I haven't seen it yet. Well, um, the cult of Chucky, I like to say, is Chucky on drugs. It takes place in a mental hospital. All of the characters, their perceptions of reality are altered by the drugs that they're on and by their own individual madness, so you can never be sure of um, what you're seeing. So this isn't your first Fright Fest. Uh, no, we were, we were here in 2013 with Curse of Chucky, and we had such a great time, and we're really happy to be back. Are you hanging around to see anyone else's movies? Oh yeah, I'm not. Um, sorry, I have a lozenge in my mouth. I'm gonna see Adam Green's Hatchet movie on Saturday night. I really—that's one I'm really excited for. I wanted to see Mayhem, but I have to go back on Sunday, so I'm gonna miss it. Well, uh, hopefully we'll see you about, and uh, it's not too hot. <laughs> oh my God, it's it's just the lights. Thank you so much.